Hi, I'm Katarina. I'm from Germany and I'm studying at the moment my MA in Literary Media. I'm also the president of the BU European Society and the Subo International EU officer. Um, we went out today and talked to a bunch of um, European students to see what their experience at BU are. Hi, I'm Paula, I'm from Spain. Uh, I'm doing a master's here in university, although I already did an undergrad here as well, so I like all pretty much. Hello, I'm Laura and I'm from Lithuania. So I'm finally a student in Bournemouth University. I'm doing industrial design. Mirva and uh, I'm a uh, multimedia journalism student here at the Bournemouth University. I am originally from Finland. My name is Balint uh, and I'm a first year public relations student. Uh, I'm originally from Hungary but have been living in, in England for the past six years. So my name is Anna and I study uh, public relations first year at Bournemouth University and I come from Poland. Okay, so my name is Oliver, I'm from Hungary and I'm a first year public relations student. My name is Wesley Schilte and I am a first year English student. I'm from the Netherlands. My name is Lisa Schielhaas. I'm an exchange student from Germany. I'm with the Erasmus program here and I'm studying the MA Literary Media right now. I like being an international student here at Bournemouth because I think that Bournemouth University has a very uh, international feel. They, they have a very nice international community and I also think that the local people have also been like very welcoming. It's good to be alone and it's good to be free and without anyone influencing you. And because there are so many international students here, I don't really feel left out or feel like I'm, I can't fit in. And it's, it's good because you learn to have more perspective. Um, the reason I like it here is because every word's so accepting. I've made friends from, from so many countries and it feels like we're just one big family here. What I love about BU is that it makes me feel included as an international person, um, especially during the international commencement ceremony. I really feel like I belong here and like I'm at home. What I love about BU is that it gives me the op opportunity to come here. <laughs> um, as an Erasmus student, um, with the help of Marta, who was very lovely, and uh, I have a great experience. I met so many great and amazing people, and uh, I'm really happy to be here. The university get, uh, gives me the opportunity not only to get the degree and not only prepares me for my future career but also gives me um, the possibility to, to meet the whole world and I've met her here so many different people and everyone has um, a unique individual story to tell. For instance, in Peterborough, nobody ever really knew anything about hunger, not even, not, not even where it is. So there have been people coming to me and asking if I'm from somewhere in Germany or if Hungary is in Africa. Um, back in Spain, like, you'll see international people, but it's not as integrated. People like to go into their groups, so even if there's internationals, they'll stay like within themselves, whereas here I feel like everyone's a lot more open. The, in contrast, now people are coming to me saying they have been to Budapest, they know about my culture, they appreciate it. So I think it's really like nice to be in that nice like global environment and especially for courses of mine is um, really valuable to be surrounded by people from all countries. And for example, we did a PR work uh, and it was about Dubai and we had people who lived in Dubai that makes the whole situation way easier and you get a total different perspective everything that you think is true might not be true in a different country and it, this is hard to believe unless you experience it from the first hand and I think that's my favourite part about being an international student here The fact that I came in Bournemouth make it really interesting to you like, because I'm meeting international students every day and you hear loads of stories uh, from like all people from all the countries and uh, get inspired by them. One interesting fact about Finland that not many people know about is that Santa is actually originally from Finland. He doesn't live in the North Pole, he lives in a place called Korvadunduri in Lapland. It's very important facts.
and the Dutch people are the tallest people. Madrid is the second highest capital in Europe. Um, we love potatoes, so I think that's quite interesting because like it's it's common here, but it's not like all your national dishes are from potatoes, which is in Lithuania. In Hungary, like in most of Asia, a surname comes before the first name. So it's kind of weird that uh, I used to say my name as Brunner Balint, and then here I can't pronounce my own name. As then when they say, "What's your name?" Balint Brunner. I can't. I can't say it the wrong way around. So okay. So the stereotype is that Polish people drink a lot of vodka, and I would like to say that it's not true because not everyone is able to drink as much as people think. Oh, he can. <laughs> um, I love dogs. So. I... A dog fan. Uh, we have a dog breed called Pully that basically has dreadlocks and barely sees anything. An interesting fact about Leipzig in Germany, where I come from, is that we have the best book fair in the world, so you should come. 